Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. I can't believe we're talking about Trailblazers Team 2 today, and the fact that the whole entire promo team has been leaked. EA has leaked the entire Team 2 of Trailblazers, guys, and we have questions because there are some things that people are not very excited about in relation to the cards that are coming, but also at the same time, it seems like a pretty cracked team number two. So we're going to talk about that. And of course, on the market side of things, we had another really good value SBC yesterday that is actually making fodder prices go up so much, they're reaching their max price ranges and becoming extinct. We have to talk a lot about that. And what will the market look like today? Will it be another quiet day? Will EA spice it up at all? All that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up or subscribe if you are new. Let's go straight to the SBCs and talk about the madness that was yesterday. We got an Icon SBC on a Monday, Laurent Blanc, the leaked SBC we were looking forward to. And guys, I have to say, props to EA. GG's to EA once again because I expected them to overprice this SBC because of how expensive fodder has gotten. Guys, this SBC is coming in at just the exact same price that this card is on the market, right around 400,000 coins. And that is exactly where he is on the market. I can't believe it. Honestly, that's a very, very good value SBC for where fodder is right now. I just imagine during the 50 day period or how long is this out for 52 days during the 52 day period that this is out fodder is definitely going to drop back down again. Now, if it might be one, two, three weeks from now, who knows, but that's going to make this SBC end up a lot cheaper. And even if his price is a little bit cheaper on the market by then, this is still going to be an insane SBC for a center back that you will be able to use in your team up until and maybe even a little bit after like team of the year. This guy is going to be that quality of center back in game. This is going to be a, an SBC that so many people do with the play style pluses that he, ha he has. We talked about this before the SBC came out, but EA really delivered. It's actually only a four squad SBC if you think about it, right? Bronze, silver, gold, gold, 80 rated, whatever. This is 84, 85, 86, and 88. That is really easy to do, right? That's like cheaper than Rodrigo. If you forget about this other stuff that's in here, almost cheaper than Rodrigo. So that is a W from EA in my book. They did a great job with that SBC. And of course, with that, fodder is going up on the high tier even more. Take a look at 89 rated players. Guys, these guys are going extinct. The only 89s that are on the market right now are 89s that have a higher price range than 40 to 47k. You can see Ruben Diaz is basically extinct. There was one that was just caught on Footbin. He has a max price of 40,000 coins. He is rising up like crazy. And a lot of your other 89 rated cards, uh, you maybe you see them on the Footbin popular page because they are actually extinct, guys on the market like Rodri, Casemiro they're not even on the market they're extinct because EA had their price ranges too low now it's absolutely crazy this is happening and because of this what's also going up in price are 88s and 90s 90 rated cards are 60,000 coins they are crazy crazy high and 88s are 26,000 coins a piece at the content drop yesterday when we saw Laurent Blanc dropped on stream I literally said to you guys in chat I was like guys go buy 88s at they were like 23 to 24k i was like get 88s at 23k snipe because without 89s on the market you're gonna have to buy 88s and 90s more of those to get your sbcs done and these cards have gone up even further since content they are now 26k approaching a lot of their max prices of 27,000 coins as well so if you picked up some 88s those are probably going to keep going up today and maybe 87s could go up a little bit further as well i don't see anything stopping the rise on fodder unless ea give us something tradable to supply the market and right about now there's not a lot of tradable content and packs and stuff like that it's hard for people to get fodder i am even doing sbcs and i'm like yo i need fodder ea how do i get it because this 80 plus upgrade is not it for fodder guys i mean this is cheap right it's the same upgrade pack that we had last week and it it is it is an upgrade pack it is fun to do a few of them but in my experience and doing these on stream today these are not good at all i just opened a couple more packs from objective so i'll rip another one open Actually, just kidding. I have a card I'm on a sign, but it's an 84. So I'll go back and forth here and finally decide that I'm just going to quick sell the card I'm on a sign because it's an 84 and I have plenty of those in my club anyway, like we all do. I think a lot of us have 84s and 83s 
and we need a place to put those. And I think that's a problem that EA needs to solve today. But let me just show you these A plus upgrades because they are not good. You guys have probably opened some of them and seen for yourself. Like an 83 is good from this. Like who? Who's this? Who? What did I just get? Forest Keeper? What's the rating? 81 rated. That's an average 80 plus upgrade. So I would stay clear from these. I really don't think they're worth it. Unless you're just going to rinse a thing, couple of cards out from your club. Uh, more so, the better SBC yesterday was this Trailblazers Challenge 2, which gives you a mega pack. A mega pack untradeable. It looks difficult, but it's actually creating really good trading opportunities with the solutions of this SBC. You can see in here that a lot of the um, solutions are moving up and down. It's kind of just like trading with the advanced SBC solutions like we did very early on in the year. SBC solutions here come to the top because this SBC has 31 chemistry required inside of it. People see that and are like, oh my goodness, I can't do that off the top of my head. Even though this SBC is actually not that hard, they see that 31 chemistry requirement or 80 rating. They're like, how do I get this done? They go to Footbin and cards have actually been moving. Some cards have like gone from 500 coins to over a thousand. Some have gone to 2K. So watch the non rares that are in these squads because they do move around in price. That's a trading method that could work right now. But that was an SBC that was dropped yesterday as well, along with the prime bronze players upgrade, which I'm hearing is hurting the bronze pack method way of making coins right now in this game a little bit. So if you do BPM, that's a little bit unfortunate there. But that was the content yesterday. There were no evolutions. We were really, really hoping for an evolution because golden glow up expired. But maybe we're not getting another Evo um, until like today, tomorrow. Again, guys, the Evos seem to be very random. Wednesday was when we had the new Evos last week. Maybe they'll give us a new Evo this week on Wednesday. We'll just have to see. But that's a part of content that we are very, very expectant and hoping for more, especially because of the way EA talked about it on the Trailblazers website. Now, let's look at this team number two. The full team is leaked for Trailblazers team number two. And yes, there are some big name players in here, but it also is rubbing people the wrong way, you could say, right? It's an insane squad. You've got Kane, Son, Ronaldo, Cancelo, Mares, Marquinhos, Robertson, Rafael Leal. Some really big name players in here that are going to have very meta overpowered cards that a lot of people are going to want to pack. But at the same time, a lot of these, very similar to Team 1, but more so prevalent in Team 2, you have players that either just got SBCs or just got promo cards. Guys, Harry Kane, Hyunmin Sun, Cancelo, Leao, uh, Kubo, all of those five cards that are in the top like seven players in this team have already had an inform or multiple special cards. Of course, we already just had the Player of the Month Hyunmin Sun, Player of the Month Kubo, and PLTM Rafael Leao. This is what's frustrating people right now because we're getting the same players in promos that we've already had special cards for on the game. Now, again, I'll say it. EA has said themselves that the whole point of this promo is to show off and represent really good in real life performances so far to start off of the year, which makes sense why it would be, again, another promo card for that player. But at the same time, that's just kind of like, what's the point? Like, why are we going to have three special versions of Hyunmin Sun to start off of the year when a lot of people are just happy using the gold, who's 80,000 coins right now? It's, it's kind of crazy. It's really crazy. But what's going to be different about these Trailblazers, just like it was with Team 1, is... They're going to change the play styles. And this is the big dilemma right now. Should you do the Hyunmin Player of the Month or should you wait for the new one that's going to come out? Guys, in my opinion, the Hyunmin Sun that could come out into packs on Friday could also be 89 rated and have the exact same stats as this card because a lot of times when EA does do upgrades for brand new promo cards, they don't upgrade over a player of the month. They could, but a lot of times they go back to the previous best special card that that player has. So Sun's 88 rated in form and then they upgrade off of that. So I don't know how the Sun card is going to look. Um, and of course, you don't know what playstyle plus they're going to be giving his card. And that's why that's why I'm doing the player of the month because I want that finesse shot plus on his card. So I'm going to go for it and get that card. And I know that my chances of packing this Hyunmin Sun are slim to none. Same thing with Rafael Leal too. It's going to be very hard to pack one of these cards. Think about how hard it is like right now to pack a Salah, a Griezmann, a Jude Bellingham, or a Graham Hansen. It's going to be very difficult to pack those top tier cards as always. So if I were you, I would lean towards the SBC version of Sun or Leao or Kubo instead of waiting the, and guessing and thinking that you're going to pack the new card that's going to be in the team too that is in packs. So 
anyways, it's just going to be really different having this team in packs. Like, I think about playstyle pluses for guys like Ronaldo. Like, one of the really good things about Ronaldo's card is that he has the, the power shot plus playstyle. What are they going to give Ronaldo, number one, for a stat boost? Are they going to give him 80 pace? They better. 80 pace and 90 shooting on Ronaldo with, like... I don't know. Imagine they gave him finesse shot or, or something like that. That would be pretty crazy. I'm excited to see what playstyle pluses that EA gives this team. And I also look at this team and I say, it's going to be a little bit cheaper, I think, than team number one. Because yes, you do have Hyunmin Sun in there. I think he's going to be the most expensive card in this promo team. But you don't have an Mbappe. Even Graham Hansen at 1.9 mil. Salah and Jude are right around a million coins as well. I look at this team and I think I only see one card, maybe two. Probably two cards that are over a million coins being Sophie Smith, maybe, and Hyunmin Son. Rafael Leal might be a little bit close, but I don't think he should be a mil. Cancelo, no way. Ronaldo, no way. Harry Kane, no. So this team should be a little bit cheaper. Maybe kind of like Road to the Knockouts team too compared to team one but this team also looks cracked with usable cards like Cancelo Marquinhos the first Marquinhos special uh, of the year the great card there Robertson as a prem left back like this is a good looking team of cards guys but it also is I mean it's just it's just wild it's wild that we're talking about this on a Tuesday usually we wait to the build up the hype and foot sheriff even said himself yesterday that he w had the leaks for this team over the weekend but he wasn't going to release them and tweet them out until later on in the week. But other people started getting wind of the leaks and just, you know, the hype that there is about leaks every single week. People started posting the cards that are going to be in. And so Sheriff was like, all right, you guys are starting to post these. So I'm going to post them and talk about it now. It just kind of brings up the whole conversation of leaks and how leaks impact this game so much. Anyways, on this game right now, a lot of people started investing based off of those leaks. Um, you saw players like Cristiano Ronaldo's gold card go up. And one card that I saw go up that I want to comment on um, is Anderson Talisca. And I think my game might have just crashed. Oh, no, we're good. We escaped him. Uh, Anderson Talisca's inform went up a lot in price yesterday. I had two on my transfer list um, beforehand that I bought way beforehand. Uh, he went from like 18K to like 23,000 coins. People were investing in Talisca because of the Cristiano Ronaldo special card um, that is going to be coming out, right? That fantasy, or not fantasy, why do I almost call this fantasy foot? They don't look alike at all. Trailblazers, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. I think that this card went up because people saw the David Neres rise with the Di Maria last week, and they were like, oh, Talisca's going to do that too because he's one of the only good links to Ronaldo. In reality, there are many other links to Ronaldo. You've got other players that are in the Saudi league and you've got Conte who has an inform. You've got heroes that are Saudi league that you could link Ronaldo with very easily as well, like Al Jaber. Uh, so I don't think the Taliska card is as good as an investment as David Neres was. And also David Neres was just a lot more rare for an inform card, but I just wanted to point that out. And if you're looking to invest in any gold cards going out of packs for this promo team on Friday, I would definitely wait until Thursday, right? The market right now is just up, up, up. Yes, Ronaldo has gone up in price. Sophie Smith has gone up in price. Even like gold, Gunman's son has gone up in price as people are buying because they know that the gold card is going to go out of packs. And since we have all week beforehand for that to happen, those cards going out of packs, it makes me like the investment a lot less, to be completely honest, because I know a lot more people are going to be doing it themselves. And I would rather wait until we see a little bit of a dip with supply to even think about going in on some of that stuff. So, that was kind of all the madness from yesterday. I, I can't honestly believe that we had those leaks that early just to look at the team one last time. It looks like a cheaper team for me, but it also does look like a really solid promo team with a lot of big name players in there that a lot of people would want to get in their squad. So I'm not disappointed by any means, but it was just a crazy one yesterday to get all those leaks and to see all of that coming out this early in the week. Now, yesterday's market, in a nutshell, a bit more, it was pretty quiet. A lot of cards, except for center backs, right? With Blanc coming out, a lot of center backs dropped in price, but they didn't drop a lot. They just kind of like took a slight hit. Like they just went down a little bit. Like Rudiger was a card that we bought last night. Tamori was another card that we bought. Rudiger just kind of went up and then took a slight dip. And he's kind of just around 61, 62K, the same amount, right? Um, maybe Eder Militao and Kunde were, were cards that got hit a little bit as well, but it wasn't really hit. They just kind of like the rises that they had, like Militao was 150 before weekend league rewards got paid out went to 160 and kind of went back down to 150. So there was a few drops there. I think if you looked at some 
icon center backs as well, maybe like a Vidic. Uh, I think there was a couple other icons that took some drops in price around the content drop with Blanc coming out. That, it was really a quiet market day yesterday. Very, very quiet. Now, what continues to go up on the market are your most meta cards, the Trailblazers, right? You see Salah is almost a million. Graham Hansen's almost two mil. Griezmann is up. Kunde is up like 20,000 coins. And then also cards that are out of packs. Road to the knockouts continue to slowly rise. Dembele is 860,000 coins. Modric is 330. You look at team one, Saka, Osiman, Bruno, Holland just continue to go up and up. DePaul's almost 300,000 coins. That's crazy for him. With the content being the way that it is and not super crazy, I think these cards are probably just going to keep going up because they're pretty rare. People are holding on to these and not selling them because the live aspect of them means they have the potential to upgrade. Um, and a lot of people are really focused on SBCs right now at this time as well. And you're seeing those prices continue to go up. So the market's really quiet. If you're trying to make coins, it's kind of a difficult place to make coins right now because there's just not a whole lot of fluctuations. You just have to, you kind of have to grind it, right? Hope for the lazy sales. You can do some of those methods, but you can get on a lot of bids for fodder, for special cards. You can fluctuation trade with icons or heroes. And there were fluctuations on icons and heroes yesterday that were pretty good to trade with. Uh, but of course, yesterday was a big day for buying, right? The Tamoris that we talked about in the video rose really, really nicely into the Monday market rise. And we, as we said, you wouldn't have had to have sold right away. Now, of course, center backs got hit a little bit, but other gold cards have just continued to rise, especially not in that center back position. They've just continued to rise as you know, the, the content and the hype is just okay. And nobody's really packing stuff and people are going out and buying cards for teams. So that might continue today if the content's very quiet. Now, there's content today that we need, okay? And EA, I'm calling you out on this because you're dropping all these great SBCs, but most of us can't get the players to turn in for them. We just don't have the facilities for that. What we need today is an upgrade pack like we had last week, the 84 times two. But before you go any longer and say, Nate, that SBC was bad, it was. We need something that's better value. Give us an 84 times two for just like an 83 rated squad or an 85 plus pack that we could do twice a day for like an 83 with two 84s or something like that. Because all of us, I think, could agree right now that we have so much fodder in our clubs from like 82 to 84 rated, right? 84s are like the new 83s from last year. We've got them everywhere. They're, they're discard price anyway. They're literally just everywhere. It's the high rated stuff that we need to chase after. And if you allowed us to turn in, look, look at all these 84s that I have, bro. 84s for freaking days. And then I have 83s for freaking days. And then I've got 82s. Look at these, all 83s, bro. And then 82s for freaking days too. So if we had the ability to turn in some of those to another upgrade pack that would give us a chance at an 85 or above, I don't think that's asking too much. We need something like that on this game. If we are going to continue to do SBCs, EA, you've drained enough coins off the market. Let your guys have a little bit of fun and get some of these, or at least work on these. If I'm going and doing objectives for 80 plus times fives so that I can get some fodder packs right now. Like that's, I've been grinding some of these friendly games off stream to try and get this even like not a 75 plus not that that matters but the 80 plus times five that might give me an 85 rated player which could be usable in one of those SBCs. we just need a way to get some of that fodder so ea that'd be very nice if you gave us one of those today and then we also do have another player SBC leak it is for lay summer coming as a trailblazers player soon and the links here are actually not that bad you've got diani you got some other really good players like Bacha that are in the uh, that play for Lyon, but are in the D1 Arkema, the Women's League One League. So that could be an SBC that comes today, or at least pretty soon. So that was a leak that we had yesterday as well. And then I think we could get some more objectives today as well. I don't know. I think this uh, the theme team pursuit. I don't know how many of these are going to be doing, but those have even been coming out on Tuesday or Wednesday. So watch out for that. And then maybe more squad foundations. I think we're still getting a couple more. Bro, we're like needing MLS. They're dropping so many MLS cards. Uh, if they dropped MLS squad foundations, that would be uh, pretty sick as well. So watch out for that today. But I really do believe, guys, it's going to be a quiet day today. Um, and since it's going to be so quiet, let's, you know what? I've got a 100K pack here from doing, what is it, like 400 assists. EA, give me some fodder. Let's spice it up here. French center four. Benz. Oh, and Cuckoo. Hey, that's a good pull. I can't. Oh, double walkout. Come on. Double walkout with Nkuku and Bruno Fernandez. 88 rated. 
I will take that. I asked for fodder and I freaking got it. Let's go. All right. We needed that. That's going straight into the, the 88 rated squad for Hyunmin Sun. And in Cuckoo, I'm going to have to try him out. What a 100k pack. Okay. Open your packs in the late night hours, guys, because that was way better than anything I opened during the day. Some people have said in Cuckoo is really trash, but he can play striker. So he goes boom straight in the team. And I will, I'll give him a shot. Yeah. We'll give in Cuckoo a shot. But that was cool. Anyways, uh, we need just something today to give us some fodder like that EA. An 85 plus double, an SBC, let us go after it because we need the fodder. Now, also, I'll say today, if you're trading today on this game, if it is another quiet day or if you still have cards that you bought yesterday, I think it's fine to hold, honestly, because that, that's my transfer list right now. My transfer list is I took a couple of sales yesterday on like Joao Pedro uh, because originally he was leaked in the team and then... Some of the guys on Twitter were saying they got the league wrong. It was Joao Cancelo. Frauds. But anyway, I still have a couple of these cards. I have the Lewandowski still. This guy just keeps going up and up and up, right? So I'm going to keep holding on to him until I feel like he's reached a price where I'm okay selling. I keep lazy listing some of these other investments. I did buy a Hyunmin Sun that was panic sold yesterday for 484k, hoping that he can rise back up. To around 530, he was very close to about 530k, and he's a very rare card, so I have no problem waiting on that. So like right now, it's just more of, okay, we're watching the market, and if there's cards that dip, we can get in there. And if I were you guys too, if you're like on a really low coin budget, I found this out today as I was uh, doing some of those uh, objective games. Trade with like silvers from Liga Portugal, I think maybe NWSL as well. All silvers, well, okay, so all silvers from Liga Portugal right now are how much? Are they below 600? They were 750 yesterday in the height of the day. If you could get on some of these and like snipes or bids at like four to 500, I think people are, I think these cards fluctuate basically each and every day because people are going and doing the objectives uh, that you need silver players for in um, the objective section to get some of those packs for the, the pursuit, whatever pursuit it was so if these cards are moving like that each and every day i'm trying to look at one of these silvers as graphs it doesn't really show you that well but um i think people are doing more objectives during the week if you can get these on sniper or on bid you can flip those check multiple league for silvers uh because those are required in there air divisi silvers probably don't sell for much because they're not in that group set but i think nwsl is so just that's a low budget method you could be grinding right now and then since everybody's buying fodder you could also just look on open bids on other ratings of fodder, like 85s on bids, 86s on bids, around the content drop if we get any tradable packs. And then you can also take a look at um, maybe even bidding on players that are kind of like gold metas, like maybe Urente for 6,000 coins, right? You know, you can bid on a card like this anytime you want during the day. You get it for a decent value. And, you know, let's say you win at like 5.5K, you can insta sell it at 6.2. It's the grindy methods that we kind of have to use right now to make some coins. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. It's a bit grindy out here right now, but hopefully EA gives us an opportunity to get some fodder today. And let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about that league team, because it is a crazy looking team with a lot of great players in it. But at the same time, I feel like people are underwhelmed because it's the same players over and over. And really, we just have to wait and see what playstyle pluses they do end up putting on these cards. So drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed it today. Comment down below if you have any questions, of course. Subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for Count. See you guys today in the stream. Peace. Out.